Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How you all doing in this world crisis? Quarantine, self-isolating, still working for the NHS, supermarkets, you know? It's just a bit of a weird time at the minute, I think. Like, it literally just feels so surreal. Today I'm here with a makeup video. I've done one makeup video before, which is like just like a everyday routine a video. Uh, today I'm gonna, I don't know what look I'm doing, but I'm gonna do like a full glam look. But I don't know what to do, like, considering like with what's going on and like festivals are being cancelled, part life not yet, but it's gonna happen and I'm quite upset about it so I feel like I want to do like a festival colour look I don't know whether to do like one eye one look and then the other eye another look I just don't know but like I'm literally looking at these colours and I'm like I want to use you I just want to try you like I've literally never used these colours like because like I don't know where the hell I'd wear those apart from like a festival kind of look so I might do it on one eye or should I just do it on both? I don't know I'm literally getting ready for nothing but this is how bored I am you've got to self entertain when you self isolate anyway I've already prepped my skin moisturise, brush my lashes, eyebrows, lip balm whatever so I'm first going to start with my eyes I'm gonna like show you this side and then obviously do the other side last but yeah I'm going to just carve out my brows I'm using the NYX can't stop won't stop concealer in shade natural natural and I'm just gonna use an angled brush just to do that Like, do it like this because obviously I want thicker looking brows and I just blend it all out I just literally put that concealer on my eyes I feel like I don't normally use this concealer to outline my brows I normally use like a lighter one but it oxidizes so fast like look at the color difference Just mind my scabby nails at the minute, I've literally just got one thumb on. Get my nails done tomorrow by my gal. And I just literally lightly set that with, this is just a, a revolution brush, just a little head like so. Using some loose powder, this is the W7 Banana Dreams. I literally just use a tiny bit. And then just because I don't want to like set it completely I want it to be a bit tacky if you get me so like the eyeshadow sticks better the facial expressions I put on these makeup videos sometimes wonder how I've got a boyfriend right I'm scared like I want to do this festival like look yeah so my friend Logan did a makeup look on me which was like blue and like glittery I think I'm gonna like be inspired by that I'm gonna be nowhere near as good I think I'm gonna do one eye it's just gonna be like take it off this video is not gonna be on I'm gonna do like the lighter blue and then the darker blue <laughs> You know what, I'm actually better at doing this eye. It's on. Here goes. Just like, this is just like an angled brush. I find this easy to get into my crease. These are so pigmented. actually gonna be so sad if um, Park Life does get cancelled because I've literally never been to a festival before 
like it was literally gonna be my first one and i've always said i'm gonna go like to park life each year and just never gone and i actually got a ticket this year so of course corona covid19 whatever you want to call it would come around and literally cancel that for me i just hope everything's cleared up by then like obviously there's bigger crises but you know it's just annoying just gonna like keep mixing between the two and keep building it up but i'm gonna be using the spectrum bl6 brush just a blending brush just to make sure it's all blended out so i think i'm kind of finished with that blue color just for now and then i'm just going to go into the darker one i'm so scared just with the same brush. Same again, I'm just tapping it and blending it through the crease. I would never like think to wear blue eyeshadow. Like I'm literally so boring, I'm like wear brown eyeshadow all the time. Same again, I'm just gonna keep switching through the brushes, putting it in and then blending it until it, I've got the look that I want. Anyway, with the same shade, I'm just gonna, in the same brush, I'm gonna be putting it in to like the inner corner. Okay, now with that flat head brush and the same concealer I've used, I'm just gonna like kind of cut out where I want to put the shimmer shade. So I'm just gonna pull my lashes down and carve that out, concentration. I don't want to like get it all over. I'm just gonna leave it wet so the glitter sticks a bit better. Just using a little eyeshadow brush just like this. And then a shimmer shade, just like a light one. And then just tapping it on where you just put that concealer. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back in with the blue shade, the darker one, into the corner just to blend that through. Both eyes are finished and I'm actually kind of like weirded out because like early in this video, I said that I can do um, this eye better than this eye, but this eye is so much better and I don't know whether it's just because like I was scared of using the shade. So like, if you can see like the difference, like this one's so much better. I'm gonna be using my favorite foundation, my only foundation that I've used for years. Uh, th that is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I'm gonna be using the shade 220 and the shade 128 mixed together, natural beige and warm nude. I'm gonna be using this brush with this like kind of head just to, put the foundation on so i'm going to be mixing the two shades together that's just because i've literally got like patchy tan on it's coming off then with the same concealer that i've been using the nyx one i'm just going to put that in under my eyes just going to be using a really dirty beauty blender to blend that out <laughs> then i'm just going to set literally just my under eyes just so it doesn't crease with that with the same brush that i used to set um the top of my eyes this just so it gets like right in is a new step to my makeup routine. I normally just use bronzer, but when I picked that concealer up, I picked it up in a darker shade, and I can't pronounce this. Mahogany. <laughs> Don't know, but it's just a darker shade, and then I'm just gonna like contour my face and put this where I'd put bronzer. So right here for now, and then I use a beauty blender just to blend 
suka au So yeah, I just think it looks just looks really nice like Yeah, it does and these are like I think like eight pounds But yeah, then I'll just put it This is the new thing I've been doing as well like contouring the F out of my nose this down the bridge of my nose Like the sides A bit too much there. So yeah, just like this, and then I'll use a beauty blender and before I apply bronzer, I'm just gonna go back and set that first lighter concealer with the same powder, and then just this brush, like a big powder brush, like so, and just set everywhere that needs setting i try and like avoid the places where i'm gonna put the um bronzer just because that'll set it as well i don't i want it to like be able to stick properly if you get me okay so this bronzer is new in my last video i used a primark one um my friend liv we went to like, cheshire oaks designer outlet um and they had the the makeup store that i was talking about when i went to london for my first like youtube video and uh, it's just like the stay matte powder that you use for setting your face but obviously in a darker tone so it's just matte no shimmer and then i'm just using uh, the spectrum a05 brush um and then just literally putting that where i've put the um where i've put the contour i like getting like the apples on my cheeks And then like to do my nose, I like use the same brush, but I like pinch it and just. Down the sides, because I don't like want to do much to my nose. I just want to enhance it like a little bit. Okay, so the next step is highlight. I'm just going to use the um, Peaches and Cream brush in PC17. And the doll light highlight in Shine Bright. I like wet my highlight brush. Yeah, I wet my highlight brush with like just with a setting spray. Just makes it look as if it's like blended into your skin a bit more. with that highlight I'm just going to be using this little brush just to get in the inner corner of my eye just under, under my um on my brow bone right so the last step I'm going to show you because I'm just going to do my eyebrows and my lipstick off screen uh, it's just the under under um, eyeshadow. I'm literally so happy like with how this look is turned out has turned out. Like obviously if you're going to a festival or something, you probably say I'd like face glitter or something as well. But I just wanna do the eyes. Like I'm so impressed with myself. Like at first I was like, mm, can't do this, it's just I'm gonna like do it, it's gonna have to be wiped off because I'm not a makeup artist. I think I'm gonna do the lighter blue shade again with then the darker blue in the center kind of bit. I'm gonna show you this eye. So I'm just using this is um I think it's like an Evo Tools brush. Um just it's a double-ended brush, this at the bottom and then this at the top. I use this for under eye because I can get in and then blend it. So yeah, just that shade, and I'm gonna have to stop talking because I need to concentrate. I don't want fallout, so tap your brush. Oh, this is such an ugly face.
I'm just going to get the darker blue shade on my brush, tap it off and then kind of press it into like closer to my lash line. And then I'm just going to blend it out with the bottom of the brush. So yeah, I'm just going to do the rest of the look off camera. Okay, so I'm back and this is the finished look. I'm literally so happy with it. Like, it just looks so nice. Yeah, so this is like, this is inspired by um, one of my friends. She is like, she's a makeup artist. I'll insert the picture of what like I kind of just looked at and went off to go off. But I'm literally so impressed. I literally like when I was film started when I thought about filming this video then and deciding the colour, I was just like, it's not gonna work. Like, but I'm actually proud of myself. Like, and I'm just I'm praying and hoping that part life doesn't get cancelled and I can go to a festival and use this look. Obviously, if I was going to a festival, I think that I would um, add maybe a bit of gl like face glitter. But yeah, like I'm literally so happy with how that has turned out. Literally <laughs> amazing. I'm quite proud of myself. I'm no makeup artist like at all, but for little old me, I feel like that's just it's quite good really, isn't it? But yeah, like literally the colour difference is just not working right now, like but yeah, I'm literally wearing this full face of makeup now to go absolutely nowhere, but whatever. Just using the time wisely just to like, kind of like, work on my YouTube channel, film whatever I can, as much as I can, because uh, obviously it's like a bit hard when I'm working and stuff, I've got other things like, to do as well, so it is a bit hard to like, try and film as much as possible, but I do want to aim to do like, two a week, or at least one a week. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try definitely to work more on it and do at least two videos a week. Say as well, a massive thank you to everybody that's subscribed to my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, and everybody that watches my videos and likes the video. It just means so much to me, uh, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, nearly at 100, so if you wanna go subscribe down there and like the video that would be much appreciated um thanks for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed i certainly have and i hope you can go ahead go and try and recreate this look yourself thanks for watching um please like and subscribe thanks for watching bye